Hey fellow Photoshop users, welcome to my channel and to this video. Here I'm creating an easy to follow uh, guide on uh, Photoshop actions. How to record your own, how to import, export, and how to run them as either singular or, or in a bulk processing. And this is mainly uh, aimed at the beginner user, Photoshop beginner users. But I'm hoping the more seasoned uh, advanced Photoshop users will also benefit from it. So let's get started. So firstly, what is a um, Photoshop action? Basically, it's a user-built series of recorded tasks or commands. So anything you can you can do on Photoshop, you can record it and then play it back later to apply it to your you know to your workflow. Yeah, uh, you know actions are actions are known to you know improve or speed up your workflow. So the type of actions you can um, you can uh, create are, for example, resizing uh, resizing actions, convert to black and white, or save to a different format. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to I'm going to create a, a Photoshop to apply clipping parts to my product photography. Um, I do that because suppliers do request for clipping parts, so they can remove the product later uh, when they require it from the background. Now here is my uh, action panel. How to get to it is Windows Action, and this shows a number of uh, um, actions I've already downloaded. These are not mine. I've downloaded them or purchased them, and you can see they're all different types of actions for color grading and applying filters to my images. So let me show you how to uh, firstly create one or record one. The first step we're going to do is we're going to create a folder because I want it to be separate from all these and have its own folder. So I'm going to Click on this folder icon here, and I'm going to call it clipping part. Oh, I should spell that correctly. Click OK. Now there it is there. Then I'm going to select the folder, and then I'm going to click on create a new action. Now here's where we customize the action. The name, again, I'm going to call it clipping part. And it's under the clipping part folder. Which is this here? I can I can assign a uh, key function to it. You don't have to. So, for example, if I assign the F1, the so Shift Command F1, it'll run my clipping path action. But I'm not going to do that. If you wish, please go ahead. However, I'm going to give it a color so it stands out from the rest. And I'm going to click on Record. So there it is. There. Now the recording has begun. So let's start the uh, let's start my uh, steps or to create uh, this uh, action. So I'm going to start by selecting the uh, select tool. Then I'm going to say select subject. Then I'm going to go parts. I'm going to click on add new part. That's it. Now I've kind of finished my um, my action. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop it. That's it there. So that's that's a very basic um, action, I guess. There are a lot of other ones that are very complicated, but this is a very basic for the purpose of this video. So there's my action now. So now I've run this action. So now, if I ever want to share this action with anyone, all I do is I select it. I click on these uh, lines here, and I go to Save Action. And here is one I've saved previously. I can save anywhere I want and then click on save. And it's just going to replace it because I had I had one there previously. So now we, after I save that, I can now share that with anyone or send that to anyone who uses Photoshop. If I want to import a new action one day, say I purchased one off the web, I want to import, I go back in here again into these um into these lines and I click on load action. And I find where my action is. Click on it and click on open. Now I won't do that because I've already got one in there. So that's what that's how you do that. Now if I want to run um, to run it again, so let me uh, bring up another image uh, for you to run it again. So this is how I would run it as a singular. So I've got my new uh, my new image here. I'm going to go to the uh, actions panel. I'm going to click on clipping part and then click on play. So this is how to run your action. So now you can see my action is uh, completed. It's done, and it's uh, it's in the parts panel because this is the clipping part uh, action. So that is running it by itself as a singular 
uh, if you want to call it singular method. Now, if I want to do this in bulk processing, let me just go back and close all this up. I'm going to click on File, Script, Image Processor. I'm going to select my images. So these are the images I want to apply that action to. Click Open. And down here, under I Run Actions, I'm going to choose my action. I'm going to choose the Clipping Path folder. And there is the action there. So make sure you choose the right folder. Clipping part, because this clipping part is in this folder. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on run. And now it's running through my actions and done. So now what I'm going to do is here, here is all the actions before. It's created, uh, it's, so this is where I, I chose my original files. It's also created the actions and put it into a subfolder. So I'm going to go into that subfolder. I'm just going to select all, right click and open them just to check to see that they've done, they've added the clipping part. So I'm going to click open. There we go. Go to path and there it is there. Path, there it is there. There it is there. And there it is there. That's it, guys. That's how simple it is uh, to run Photoshop Actions. Please um, comment below. Let me know how you do your actions or how you create your actions. I would love to learn. Co also, comment below any feedback. I would always do my best to answer everyone uh, that comments um, in the comments below. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. Um, if you like this video, you know, give it a like, thumbs up. It'll greatly, uh, you know, help. And yeah, um, thanks for watching.